Hello, and welcome to our session, Better Together, how Google Cloud makes Google Workspace better for you. In this session, we'll show you how you can supercharge Workspace with Google Cloud. Hi, I'm Wesley Chun, a developer advocate on Google Cloud. I've also been a developer advocate on Google Workspace, and I'm passionate about sharing examples making both product groups work better for you. Like me, I hope you're also curious about what's possible when you leverage both cloud and workspace. I'll be joined by special guests, Brett Hughes, VP of Analytics and Technology at NetConversion, and Hervé Oberhauser, Product Manager for S4HANA at SAP. By covering various ways you can supercharge workspace, we're going to follow that with a quick overview of both workspace and cloud platforms. Also, we'll take a look at a few use cases where cloud can amplify workspace solutions and spotlight a report automation example. Then we'll hear from Google Cloud customer net conversion and cloud partner SAP on what they've built using Google Cloud and Google Workspace together. Finally, we'll wrap up with links and more information on how to get started using both product groups together. So let's kick off this conversation with supercharging workspace and connecting to all your data and tools. Workspace's extensibility allows you to transform how your teams share and use the data that powers your business. Google Cloud provides data analytics and visualization tools that help you unlock actionable customer insights. You can add to intelligence to your apps with Google Cloud's AI and ML tools. Workspace also has open frameworks where you can connect and integrate with your favorite DevOps tools in Gmail, chat, and more. Finally, you can do all this while protecting your business data with our hardened platforms to help keep your data secure. Workspace is better with Google Cloud because it gives you access to a variety of solutions to help make collaborative and data-informed decisions. Create rich data visualizations and dashboards using BigQuery, Looker, and Data Studio, and get real-time analytics with Dataflow or BigQuery BI Engine. Cloud offers a variety of scalable data storage solutions to meet your needs. You might start with Google Drive, then grow into petabytes with cloud storage. In fact, one code sample I'll link to at the end lets you implement an intelligent image backup service from Drive to Cloud Storage. While it's true that backups don't sound interesting, it's a whole new ballgame when you add AI and ML into the picture. Now, Workspace's no-code and low-code platforms, AppSheet and AppScript, respectively, allow you to create a variety of intelligent solutions that connect your data with third-party applications that you use for your business. Build chat apps that can help automate workflows. Why should your boss look up the sales information for Q3 last year or do ERP resource budgeting manually when you can have a chatbot do this for you? Finally, add use of Google Cloud AI and data analysis tools to see and work even smarter with more intelligent business applications. Uh, Workspace gives you real-time visibility into project progress and decisions to help you ship quality code fast and stay connected with your stakeholders all without switching tools or tabs. By leveraging applications from our partners, you can pull valuable information out of silos, making collaborating on requirements, code reviews, bug triage, deployment updates, and monitoring operations easy for the whole team. They can then stay focused on their priorities while keeping everyone aligned, ensuring collaborators are always in the loop. Now, Google Cloud and Workspace are all about getting things done, leveraging the power that each platform brings. Let's do a basic overview of both, just in case they're new to you. BigQuery is our data warehouse for large-scale data analytics. Imagine issuing a query across multiple terabytes of data and getting results in just seconds. You can give it a try. Everyone gets one terabyte a month of free queries with a BigQuery sandbox, and no credit card is needed. AppEngine is our original OG serverless 1.0 platform for hosting web apps and mobile backends. Since then, we've launched serverless 2.0 next generation platforms like Cloud Run. It does what App Engine can do, but adds the flexibility of containers without requiring you know Docker, and it can drop right into a CI CD pipeline. Cloud Functions is another serverless 2.0 platform, but for specific use cases like where you don't have an entire app or you want to avoid using a LAMP stack, a mean stack, or any stack. It's for small snippets of code, microservices, or event-driven tasks. You're probably already familiar with cloud storage as your large-scale data storage solution, structured or unstructured. Think of it as your data lake where all your data rivers flow into. Our focus as an AI-centric company led to Vertex AI, AI tools to help data scientists train and deploy models. It also has APIs for those who are new to ML. 
You only need to know how to call an API in order to leverage the power of machine learning. From Vertex AI's general platform to custom solutions like Document AI and Contact Center AI, Google Cloud has an AI tool to help you build smarter apps. If you've used Gmail, Google Drive, Docker Sheets, you're already familiar with Workspace. But what you may not know is that these apps have APIs and platform components that let you integrate, customize, and extend these applications on your own or to create collaborative applications, automations, and workflows. AppScript is our low-code platform usable by both citizen and professional developers to build tools from simple macros to complex UI integrated applications like add-ons and chat apps. You see the purple gauge at the bottom of the slide? Well, Google Slides doesn't have a progress bar feature yet, but you can build one like we did as a slides add-on using AppScript. Non-technical app creators can use AppSheet, our no-code platform, to easily build powerful business web applications. Finally, the Workspace Marketplace is a great place to find apps that let you integrate with the tools that you already use. Or if you've built a novel solution you want to share with the world, productize it by listing it in the marketplace. The top tools in the marketplace have more than 10 million users. Now that we've covered the platform basics, let's look at some possibilities that can be accomplished with both cloud and workspace for inspiration. One common use case where we see customers applying both workspace and cloud together is automated reporting and distribution. It affects working professionals from data scientists to operations to knowledge workers. They need to digitize and automate manual reporting processes so that they can spend their time more productively. Below are common tools from cloud and workspace that you may find typically working together in breaking through bottlenecks. Let's look at one specific example of automated report generation using both product groups. This app is written in AppScript. It connects to BigQuery to analyze your data in cloud storage, then uses Looker to help visualize those results. Data can then be automatically pushed into Sheets for more analysis and sharing. From there, data and visualizations can be imported into slides. And when complete, you can use the Gmail API to automatically send that presentation to all stakeholders so you're ready for that upcoming meeting. This is a complete solution from end to end. And guess what? It's not just an idea. At the end, I'll link you to a bare bones but working version of this that I built in less than 100 lines of JavaScript. If you're not a coder but comfortable using Sheets, Connected Sheets lets you leverage the power of BigQuery, but with the ease of spreadsheets. Connected Sheets is a Google Sheets feature allowing you to connect to BigQuery to manipulate and transform data for use in pivot tables, charts, and formulas. With Connected Sheets, you can access terabytes of data in BigQuery, then visualize its results in a sheet, helping you unlock big data insights, accelerate data workflows, and improve cost efficiency, all while keeping your data safe and secure. More importantly, you can share these results with only those you want to share them with. Earlier, I introduced an app that backs up images from Google Drive to cloud storage. How do we make backups smarter and let you see more? Well, it not only copies the images, but it also calls the AI-powered Cloud Vision API to analyze their content. And it adds that along with the cloud storage links to the resulting sheet so you know exactly what you backed up and where. Other examples include developing helpful apps with no code using AppSheet or write useful utilities as chat apps. Finally, unlock big data insights with power analytics and visualization with BigQuery and connected sheets as described previously. Now, Google Workspace offers many choices to solve your business process needs. With the power of Google Cloud, you can supercharge your solutions to meet a variety of challenges your business encounters. With the Workspace Marketplace, you can integrate all your favorite developer and business tools to access all your critical data in Workspace. If that integration is a breakthrough that other enterprises will value, productize it by listing it in the Marketplace. But enough from me. Let's hear how our partners and customers are doing the same. Please welcome Brett Hughes from our customer, Net Conversion. Thank you, Wesley. Um, it's amazing how powerful that tool set is. I feel like really our examples are only kind of scratching the surface, but we're excited to jump into them. So uh, Net Conversion, uh, who I work for, is headquartered in Orlando, Florida. We've been around for 15 years. Really what I think makes us special as a media agency, media buying and management agency, is our analytics team. 55% uh, of our team um, is focused on delivering insights and optimizations on our analytics side. It really helps drive the uh, 1 billion in media impact that you see here. Um, lucky enough to win some uh, awards along the way. 
And so really our transformation began a number of years ago, um, probably even before this timeline, but I would say it really accelerated uh, with this timeline. First, focusing on data management and our earliest adoption uh, was really putting our data and our client data into BigQuery. Um, probably started more on like the front lines of our normal analysts working more in G Sheets and connected sheets. Um, dinosaurs like me were still using offline spreadsheet solutions, but um, slowly uh, over two years, really um, the focus being on all data management, all client data, living in BigQuery, securing BigQuery, and moving towards connected sheets so that we could share um, map models that people were working on. Uh, after that, it really started moving into visualization and moving uh, to cloud visualization. So that data that we had, uh, presenting it to clients uh, with first um, Data Studio dashboards, and then moving kind of offline presentations to Google Slides and connecting those directly to G Sheets. Uh, how did we kind of go about doing this? Well, our own solution was conversionomics. There are definitely ways to just do this without a, a third party. Um, platform, but 10 years ago, uh, there was a, a problem. Our One of our co-founders was spending all of his Sunday downloading reports from Google Analytics, and he said there's got to be a better way. So we developed conversionomics. Um, later, it was moved into BigQuery. So it was really BigQuery was the backbone of conversionomics doing the uh, analysis um, and storage and keeping everything secure. So conversionomics connects to a number of different data sources in the Google Cloud and Google Ad platforms. Um, and then we use that to transform and manipulate data and send that out to our data warehouse and visualization tools of Data Studio, G Sheets, um, automated reporting. It also connects to BQML. So we can run automated models off the data that is transformed in conversionomics. Uh, additionally, it acts as an activation or CAPI solution uh, pushing offline conversions or audiences into our ad platform. So it's really uh, the backbone of what we do. All right. Um, another solution that we used uh, Google Cloud for and Workspace was the optimization log it, uh, logic. Um, so in this situation, we were trying to solve for 80 plus locations. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Google Ads has done an amazing job in moving um, towards automated ML solutions. But in this case, we had uh, budgets on a individual location basis of 80 plus different locations. So within that, we had multiple campaigns that included pure brand, brand plus other, qualified category and category. And each of those perform differently from a CPA, impression fair, and then budget pacing standpoint. So really what the, what the script does and what the logic does is it pulls that data into central platform, um, sorts it, and then um, we have a script run through that data for each location and recommend optimizations based on how it's pacing and where we should push spend into. Uh, you know, that loops through 80 different locations and really the output is a script in Google Ads that updates the budget pacing. Um, it, it also creates an accessible change log saved for historicals that lives in G Sheets. And then the changes of that script are actually emailed out to the client team. So with that, it really saved, again, kind of us time, ensured that we were pacing correctly across the across all these different locations, um, and with really powerful use of uh, Google integration. Thank you, everybody, for your time um, and allowing me to share that with you. I'll definitely kick it back over to Wesley to intro our next presenter. Great. Thanks so much, Brett. And I think AdScripts is based on AppScript as well, too, so that's pretty exciting. All right, so that was one example of how doing things better together works with both product groups. Now let's hear from partner SAP for another. I'd like to welcome Hervé Oberhauser from SAP. Hi, Wesley, and hello, everyone in the audience. I'm Hervé, and I would like to give you an overview of the integration project between SAP and Google Cloud. First of all, I wanted to thank you, Wesley, for the invitation. It's great to be part of Google Next. Before we jump to the topic, a few words about SAP and SAP S for HANA. The purpose of SAP is to help the world run better and to improve people's lives. I know that might sound a little bit glib, but this is reality. By producing software for the management of business processes, SAP enables every enterprise to become intelligent and sustainable. 
SAP S4 HANA is our next ERP generation for business suite design for every line of business and industries. Many global companies have adopted SAP S4 HANA cloud or on-premise, and one of them is Alphabet. Let me show you one of our customer stories and why this integration is so important. Alphabet has 4,000 SAP S4 HANA users, only in the finance, which is huge. Many employees are working on, on daily basis with both worlds, SAP and Google Cloud, which are not connected today. To cope with Alphabet's growth as a company, the finance team are working on the intelligent finance, which includes, for example, applying Google Cloud machine learning on top of SAP business data to close their books more efficiently and with greater yeah, accuracy via automatic outlier detection. Many of our customers at SAP are moving to Google Workspace and struggling with exporting, exporting data, conversion of files, importing data from Google Sheets into SAP, and so on. We will avoid all those manual steps by providing an implementation of a seamless integration between SAP, S4 HANA, and Google Workspace. We have started the integration project at SAP, and we will deliver an initial set of features as standard functionality for our customer this year. The first use case is an export scenario. You can directly export SAP data from all UI tables to Google Workspace in a Google Sheets format. The second use case is an import scenario to upload data from Google Sheets into SAP S4 HANA. This year only enabled for a finance application called General Journal Entries. We are building a native integration, leveraging our SAP business technology platform for a tight integration and a consistent user experience, Keep, keeping the best functionalities of each, the business-centric approach from SAP and the powerful, collab powerful collaboration from Google Workspace. Let's get more concrete with a short demo of the export in the SAP system. Leveraging the Google Workspace integration provides you the possibility to export tables to Google Workspace. So after opening the Export As dialog, you can select the Google Sheets format. With clicking on Export To, a file browser op dialog opens, which gives you the possibility to browse through your Google Drive repository. With click on the export, the file is being generated, transferred to Google Drive, and then automatically opened in a Google Sheets format. Pretty straightforward. We are working intensively together with Google Cloud to deliver the best possible integration. In 2023, we are planning to enhance our SAP harmonized document management with a Google Workspace integration to be able to link Google Workspace documents with SAP business objects, to find and work on Google Workspace document directly from SAP S4 HANA applications. We will also deliver broader application adoption for, of the upload from Google Sheets and more capabilities for the export. We are working closely with our customers on their use cases and involve them during the development phases to define to, together the next releases. Our customers are really pushing this integration and it, it is only the beginning between SAP and Google Cloud, more to come with projects regarding an integration with Google Meet, Google Chat, and so on. Wesley, I'm looking forward to the audience. Thank you for your attention and um, do not hesitate to reach out to me for further information. Thank you. Thanks, Herve. We've just seen some amazing and inspirational stories on how to supercharge Google Workspace with Google Cloud. Now it's time to get you started. For free skills training for you and your teams, go to cloudskillsboost.google. We listed four labs to get started on your journey. On behalf of Brent Hervé and the Google Cloud and Workspace teams, thank you for watching.